Welcome to Just Scrap and Stamp. Today's project is a little phone address book you can keep in your handbag or pop in your kids bags to have in case they need one. So to start off with I've got two pieces of pattern paper and I'll put the measurements on the screen for you when I edit the video. Um, and then I've also got some little phone pages that I've designed. These are available to download for free on our website so you can just log on to www.justscrapandstamp.com.au and get the free download for those. So we're just going to pop the pattern paper and then our phone pages. Now on the inside cover of the front page I want a little pocket so I'm just going to cut another piece of pattern paper to make a pocket. Just the same width as our paper but about half the size to pop on there. So we'll just pop some double sided tape along three edges. And leave the top edge open so the little pocket we can pop any little pieces of paper we might need to in there. Line this up on the outside edge. Then our little pockets in there, and we can pop the front cover on the front. Now the pages are uh, actually this size, and I've just folded them in half so that they fit inside the book. So then, once we've got all our pieces together, I'm just going to use the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher staple down the side. That's right. And then I'm just going to use some um, Japanese washi tape which is also available on our website. It's a masking tape and it comes in lots of different colours and designs. So I'm just going to use that to hide the staples. So I'm just going to put it down the side there. Oops. And because it's masking tape, it's a bit forgiving if you stick it on something by mistake. And just cut the edge off there. And then fold it round. It's a bit like book binding tape. But because it comes in lots of different colours and designs, it's nice to use. And we'll just trim the edges off there. So that hides our staples. So that's the bones of our book. Now that we've made the bones of our little book, we're going to make a little plate to put on the front. So I'm just going to use a piece of white cardstock and some spellbinders dies. And I've got my A plate and a C plate, and then the material we'll be cutting, and then my B plate on the top. I'll just run that through. That gives us our oval shape and then to mount that on just got to do the same thing again but with the scalloped oval shape so then we'll have our oval with our scalloped edge Now to stamp on our little oval piece I'm going to use the new Hero Arts set which is called Just Saying Hi, it's a nice little telephone set. We're using the longer shape which will suit our oval. This is the first time I've used these stamps so I'm just going to test it out. Yep, it gives us a nice clean image. Sometimes with polymer stamps the inks will bead on the top of the stamp um, and you'll get a blotchy finish. To get around that, if you just use a sanding block to gently sand the top of the surface, it'll stop the ink from beading on there. But usually Hero Art stamps are quite good in that regard. So we'll just stamp that in the middle of our oval. There. Now I'm going to also do some shading on here. I'm just going to use our die and put that back on our shape, line it up, 
sit that back down on there. And then just bear with me while I find the right colour ink. And an ink blending tool. So I use like to use the Tim Holtz tools with the foam, they're nice and easy to use. And I'm just going to grab my craft sheet. The craft sheet makes it very easy to use the blending tool because it allows the tool to move from the sheet onto the project without getting caught on the paper. Now when I ink up my blending tool, I don't dab it in the ink. I like to use a swirling motion on there. That way you don't get any lines from the ink pad on the stamp which then goes onto your project. If you use a gentle swirling motion on there, you get just a nice covering of ink over there. We're going to use that same motion on our ink pad. So starting off the ink pad and using a circular motion onto the cardstock. We'll just move around the edges. And just picking up more ink as you need it because you can always add more ink you can't take it away so I like to work around first you can see there I'm running out of ink now but I'll just keep going and then I'll see yes that was okay around there so I'll pop my die back on and get a bit more ink off my stamp pad and line my paper back up again and then work around this edge. This just gives a nice element to a white background and sometimes you're not sure what to do with a white space on an image. So then we've just got a nice stenciled effect around the phone. Just pop all this to the side. Now we might mount our telephone onto the scalloped cardstock just with a bit of double sided tape. Centre it on there, then we'll pop it onto the front of our little book, just with some more double-sided tape. Now, with this sort of project, it's a bit hard to embellish it too much because it's going to be in your handbag. Little things you put on there might get caught on different things and come off. So we're just going to keep it nice and simple. Of course, you can add more embellishments to yours if you would like to. So there we go. Just a nice little phone journal you can pop into your handbag or give to a friend. Thanks for watching and don't forget you can download the free pages over at our website. Thanks!